Hi class, I want to show you this jQuery plugin that I used in a website I did recently. It's really a fairly nice website and it actually works with the MinMax so it stretches for a tablet and full screen. Let me see if I can show you what that might look like. I would have to be able to view this And here it comes. So you can see that as I stretch in, you can see the images rotating. And you can see that the images float and stretch to fill the screen. And the client was very happy with it. It's a pretty site. It uses their corporate identity. So I did this pretty easily using background stretcher. And I loaded the demo and I actually put it inside of my files. If you look over here at files, let me just click so this fills the screen one more time. I think I can show you the demo. So I downloaded the demo. It's actually here. When I upload the demo, you can see that this is what came from them and that I practiced on this. I went into images. The first thing I did to adapt this for my own um, use was I went into images and I opened up an image to see what size it actually was. In Photoshop, I went to image size And I see that this is the size of the image. So I resized all my images to this and I just overwrote the images. That was pretty easy to do. Now, the things that you need to make sure you have for jQuery to work is down here is these jQuery sites, the jQuery, um, can I find them now that I'm looking to show you? The JavaScript. I need the call out to jQuery. They must be here someplace. I think they're out at the root level. And of course, I'm not finding them now that I want to show these to you. And I need the actual call outs in the file. So the easiest thing for me to do was to go to. So here you can see that I have the CSS is here. And I stay linked to the CSS, the jQuery if you take a look at my index page over here, is actually linked over in my file. So I can see here we have some Google Analytics going on. Here's a link to the demo style sheet in the folder for demo. Here I have my call outs to my jQuery and you see they are at the root level. I just got them to go there very easily by doing a simple save as from the demo into the root directory and it changed everything for me and it worked pretty nicely as you can see. And then I went and looked at the code down here and you can see that the images go to demo images and I just kept the same names and I changed out my images. Now I could have very easily just changed them and typed in what they are inside of dem demo images to get them to work. So very quickly I had no problem with this at all. The jQuery that I felt insecure about, or the JavaScript that I felt insecure about here, I didn't touch. You see that the image width is actually specified here. I made all my images match that. And then this I left absolutely the way it was. So I didn't have to use any JavaScript or change anything to do this. If you do this sort of thing this week when you use jQuery plugins, you should be pretty good at doing this. Of course, some jQuery is not as simple as this, but my advice to you is that you find a jQuery that has a demo you can download because it's functional there. And then you can just deal with the objects you need to change within your code. Hope that helps you and I look forward to your assignments really soon.